In this video, we're going to review the parts of the eye. So I'm going to start with this image, and then we'll look at a few other ones so you can see more detail. Uh, first, here you can see the white of the eye, which is called the sclera. The conjunctiva, which is represented by this H, but difficult to see, but it covers the top of the sclera. It's connective tissue that covers the sclera. Um, if I was going to ask you a question on that on the test, I would more likely put it into words as a point, opposed to pointing to a spot here because, again, you don't really see it very well, but that's where the conjunctiva would be. And then we have another structure that you can't see, and that's the lacrimal apparatus. The lacrimal apparatus is your tear duct or tear system where you produce them. Uh, they flow, and then they re, uh, reabsorb those tears. So you can't see that, but you need to know the lacrimal apparatus is going to produce, distribute, and remove tears. Here you see this front covering here. That is called the cornea. The cornea is going to do two-thirds of the focusing of the light. Inside the cornea, you see the pupil, which is this opening right here where the light's going to travel through into the eye. And then you have the colored part of your eye, which is the iris, which its job is not to give you the color of the eye. Its job is to control the size of the pupil, so it's controlling the amount of light that can get into the eye. Now, you also have to know the muscles of the eye, and you can see three of them here. This one is going to be the superior rectus muscle. This is going to be the inferior rectus muscle. And this is going to be the medial rectus muscle. The lateral, obviously, is going to be on the outside. And I'll tell you, I'll show you in another slide um, how to show whether it's the medial or lateral so it doesn't confuse you. So again, let's go through the parts here. We have the sclera. We represent the conjunctiva here, the cornea, the pupil where the light will travel through, the iris, which is going to control the size of the pupil. We have the superior rectus muscle, the medial rectus muscle, and the inferior rectus muscle. Now we're looking at a cross-section of the eye. Again, you can see the sclera, the outer white part. This blue layer in here is called the choroid layer. It's called the choroid layer. Then you have the retina, which is this red layer where the rods and cones, those photoreceptors, are going to be located. You can see the cornea up in front. Between the cornea and the lens, and the lens is right here, between the cornea and the lens, you have what's called the anterior cavity, and it contains aqueous humor, which is constantly being made and recycled. Then back here, this opening is called the posterior cavity, and it contains vitreous humor. It contains vitreous humor. So again, the posterior cavity is this big opening behind the lens. Now, one way you can tell medial versus lateral is this structure right here is the optic nerve. And if you remember from the nervous system, the optic nerve from both eyes are going to come and they're going to cross at that optic chiasm. So the optic nerve is going to leave the eye towards the medial side. So here is that's how you tell this is your medial rectus. It's going to be closer to the optic nerve. On the other side, and you can see barely see it here, that would be the lateral rectus. So you just need to make sure you orient the eye correctly when you're determining which muscles are which. Let me go through the parts again. We have the cornea, the anterior cavity between the cornea and the lens. This is the lens. You have the choroid layer. You have the sclera. You have the posterior cavity, which contains vitreous humor. You have the optic nerve. Now another view. We're looking towards the back of the eye. So this is the posterior aspect of the eye. You can see the sclera. You can see the choroid layer right in here. They've actually taken part of the retina out, so you can see more of it. This is the retina that contains the rods and cones. And when you look at the back of the eye, you see a structure, this oval structure right here. You see this oval structure right here, which is called the macula lutea. So the whole, lost my pointer, this whole oval right here is the macula lutea. And then inside that macula lutea, you have the fovea centralis. The macula lutea, lutea contains the highest concentration of cones within the fovea centralis, you have an even higher concentration of cones. So this is where you're able to see your best color. Um, if you can imagine it, here's the pupil up here. That light comes through. 
So you, you you see the best color when you're looking straight at something where that light can came, come through and land on that macula latia and the fovea centralis. So again, what you can see on this one is the sclera, the choroid layer, the retina. Within the retina, in the back of the eye, posterior of the eye, you have the macula latia, the whole oval. Within the oval, the little dark spot there is going to be the fovea centralis, and here's where we have the optic nerve leaving the eye. Uh, this yellow represents what's called your blind spot. There are no rods and cones where that optic nerve leaves the eye, and so you actually have a blind spot. Now you don't see that blind spot, and we'll do something in class so you can see it, but you can only see it or figure it out when one eye is closed because the one eye will compensate for the other eye, so you don't actually have a blind spot in your vision. So those are the parts of the eye. Make sure you review them, make sure you take the practice test, and also make sure you're reviewing the functions of those parts.